This video is about exporting variables, and in particular, exporting environment variables. If I want to establish a variable to have the same value in all my subshells and login shells, I can define it within my .bash RC, which as you may recall gets executed also for the login subshell because it is sourced in the .bash underscore profile resource file. The word sourced means executed. The, the command to execute a script in bash is, is source. You, I mean, that's just one way to run a shell script. Source and then the name of the shell script. The other way is just to type dot forward slash and then the name of the script if that script is in the same directory as the current directory. But it has to be marked as executable file. So I'll say it again. If you want to establish a variable to have the same value in all the subshells and in the login shell, I need to define it within my dot bash rc file. And I explained why that would also work for the login shell. Now, although this variable, which I declared or, or defined, whatever you want to call it, in the bash rc file, although it will be available in all the bash shells that I open, it won't be available to commands, programs, and scripts, which I run. Now, in order to have it become available to commands, programs, and scripts, I need to export it. And I'll show you how to export a variable. And most of the time, the type of variable that you will want to export in this way will be an environment variable because those are the ones that get used in commands that run in Unix. That's why they're called environment variables. They have special meanings to Unix commands and the Unix commands utilize them. And the fact that this environment variable is available allows you to customize the way that these Unix commands run without explicitly using options with the command. So once you set the environment variable, you know the command is going to know certain things that you expect it to do. So I'll say it again to make it clear. There are some Unix commands which use values stored in specific variables. However, if you set the value of this variable, the command won't be able to access it unless you export it. And the word it refers to that variable. That's why it's important to learn how to use the export command. Okay, and just as a side point here, after you edit like bash rc, one way to have the contents of bash rc have an effect is to open a new terminal window or go to a subshell. However, there is a third way. You can source it, meaning you use the source command and then follow it by dot bash rc, the source space dot bash rc and hit the enter key. And that will run the bash rc script. And it is technically a script. Sometimes it can be thought of as a configuration file, but it's a script. Okay, now enough talking. I'm gonna show you the bash rc that I have. Okay, up here it has the, this was there from before. This was there from before when we talked about alias. Now here, I define a variable. And here, on a separate line, I export that same variable. And I explained the significance of exporting already. It makes it available to all, well, all programs, all Unix commands and programs and shell uh, scripts that know how to use environment variables and is looking for them. This includes subshells. But since this bash rc is going to run for each subshell, exporting it is not as significant because it, the value is going to be there anyways. Okay. Here's an example of using the export command while defining the variable, doing it all on one line. So the export command can be used in that way also. Now, the reason I called this variable nvar is because typically you would use the export and this whole scenario of putting it in the bash rc file to set values of environment variables which can and will be used within commands that you issue at the command line. So if there was a command that looks for a variable called nvar5, well, this line has set its value and has exported it to make it available for that command. Okay, I think I've made everything about this topic clear now. And until next time, see you later.